up my line and got me missing calls Told her you ain't gotta hit me till you licking Feel like ZVF, baby, I'll be cooler than the mink weather Make a Coke bottle, give me Alright man, so let's talk about this lens really quick Because I think this is really, really special So the main reason why I've never experienced, you know, telephoto street photography Is because mainly the lenses end up being really big And so, naturally, that's a deterrent for me Because I'm usually out in the field probably 8 to 10 hours at a time And I typically like to carry something small So it just doesn't weigh me down I'm covering a lot of ground So when Viltrox reached out and they were like, yo, we're releasing a 56 millimeter lens which is of course an 85 millimeter equivalent for 140 bucks. And the best part is it is going to be small. I knew instantly I wanted to try it out, but there it is 56 millimeter 1.7 available for the Fuji X mount. And as you can see, it is tiny. I mean, this is the size of, you know, a standard 23 millimeter F2 from Fuji, or maybe even like your 35 millimeter. It doesn't feel big whatsoever. It fits actually nice and balanced on the Fujifilm X Pro 2. We're gonna head back down to Pike Place and just explore the city a little bit Bit more we're here for a few more days and then uh we're gonna head out so let's see what else we could create with this lens right here that place is such a dope spot there's schools fruits everywhere so many shops and vendors i think all these really cool lights too play a really fun role So with the 56 millimeter lens, uh, it's about like an 85 millimeter equivalent. So I'm basically trying to use a lot of like reflections and a lot of texture within the frame, just because your traditional kind of running gun isn't gonna get, you know, the same result, but really cool for like these nice, you know, beautiful silhouette abstract shots, so. perform just like walking straight on you know is the autofocus fast well, i'm gonna shoot this at f4 uh, let's go 5.6 we are currently in auto iso reading f16 it's like f8 kind of oh look at these shadows oh that's insane okay hold on
we just got back from the airport probably like 20 minutes ago, but I couldn't wait but sit down to film this little segment here because I haven't been excited about a lens like this in a really long time, man. So let's just jump into it. So first things first, man, I was very skeptical about this lens because I typically don't shoot longer focal lengths. I think I talked about that earlier on. And for me, longer focal lengths have always been harder to compose, especially since I mostly shoot with a 28 millimeter focal length. That is extremely wide compared to the 85 millimeter equivalent on this lens. So I started taking a class called Street Photography Composition, Five Techniques for Standout Photographs, which by the way, was taught by none other than Craig Whitehead, who is known for using this exact focal length. He talks about training your eye, as well as just some like basic compositions that you can use to get started with a focal length like this. Now, I did find this class on Skillshare, which is the largest online learning community it's with thousands of classes led by industry pros across film, illustration, design, photography, freelance, productivity, and more. So Skillshare is no secret, you guys. If you're looking to elevate your photography to the next level, I mean, there are just tons of videos on photography alone that cover things like lighting, portraiture, even like the business side of photography. And one thing I love about Skillshare is you can do it on your own time. And with Skillshare, I've been able to grow as a photographer, take up this next offer because Skillshare is actually offering my first 500 viewers who use the link in my description below a one month free trial, completely free. Huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode. All right, you guys, let's talk about it. The 56 millimeter 1.7 from Viltrox honestly is the first lens in a very long time, like I said, that really surprised me. Now check this out, man, here is the box. I remember when I got the shipment in, I got it before this lens released, I was confused because I'm like, if this is a 56 millimeter lens, it's gotta be a little bit bigger. So I was surprised to see just how small the box is. This thing right here is tiny. Now considering this is a 56 millimeter equivalent, you gotta understand you guys just how game changing this actually is because any other 85 millimeter equivalent lens that I've ever used has been gargantuan. On the Fujifilm X-Pro2, this is what the lens looks like. Right next to it now is my Fujifilm 23 millimeter F2 and you can see it's pretty much the same in terms of length. The only main difference I would say is that this 56 millimeter definitely has a little bit more girth. So in terms of size, I think that's like probably the biggest selling point for this lens, um, especially if you are an X Pro shooter or maybe even like an XE shooter, um, the XT won't struggle whatsoever, but these rangefinder style cameras typically don't handle larger lenses well. Now this is a 1.7 max aperture lens, so it's not going to give you the most light compared to like the Fuji version, which is like a 56 1.2, I believe. But regardless, the size of that lens is like this big. And I would rather take the 1.7 over that just because of the size mainly. Now it does have a 52 millimeter filter thread. So that's something to keep in mind. And also it, it does include a rose petal style lens hood. Lens hood itself is made out of plastic and the body construction of the lens, you know, for being 140 bucks is pretty good. Um, it feels more of like in Sigma lens, like a contemporary temporary Sigma lens, that's the best way I could describe it. And while it doesn't feel like ultra premium, it definitely doesn't feel cheap. It feels like there's a good balance between build quality as well as the materials they used. Now in terms of autofocus, the autofocus is pretty accurate. Now it is an STM lens, which is a stepping motor. And so it's pretty snappy, it's pretty quick. I was able to get eye autofocus on my X-Pro2, but most of the time my subject matter was mostly just like subjects out on the street. And so I rarely even got to use that feature. I'd say it's about on par with most of Fuji's lenses. And so if you use any of the other Fuji lenses already, you probably won't notice a difference. Now, how about sharpness? Sharpness of this lens, you guys, I gotta tell you straight up, it's pretty dang sharp. Now, just from my experience with Viltrox, they have always put out sharp lenses. Uh, this one follows suit with that exact thing. You know, I feel like a lot of people will be using this for street photography because of the size. And so it's not only sharp enough for that, but if you wanted to use it for like portrait photography, uh, maybe even like landscapes, some, you know, different compressed landscapes. I could definitely see somebody using it for that as well. And I'm gonna just say it right now, you guys, if you own a Fujifilm camera, you need this lens. It's probably one of the top 10 lenses you could get for your Fujifilm camera. And for $140, man, it is like a no brainer. I, I do honestly believe Viltrox is gonna have a hard time keeping up demand just because of how great this lens is. And they're not paying me to say this. They did send this over for review, a little disclaimer. I genuinely, genuinely love this lens. It's freaking amazing, you guys. It's probably gonna be glued onto my X-Pro2 for the next couple of months. And as you guys seen in the video in Seattle, I thoroughly enjoyed using it. So my final verdict is, you know, I would honestly get this lens over the Fujifilm 56 1.2. And I know that's a heavy statement to say because the 56 
2 has been around for forever and it has been an absolute staple within the Fujifilm community. But there's a new kid on the block and this new kid is smaller. He may not be as heavy or as robust, but I can already see it being a workhorse. So definitely look into this one. Viltrox 56 millimeter 1.2 XF. You guys will not be disappointed, man. And that's gonna wrap it up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, drop a like down below and also hit that subscribe button for more Fuji film content. But that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. As always, Fuji Film Gang.